I remember this game a little bit actually. And then uh Blue is able to pull this all the way back. And I think uh I actually don't run that much snail on night, to be honest, in the past couple of uh teams that I've been on. So it'll be interesting to see your take on like how did they lose this actually? Uh they as in uh, gold. So yeah. You could say it's like a really good play of one of the warriors, but I think it's more of a positioning issue. So that that's kind of like a little bit of a technical thing. They're peeking out or whatever. Yeah. But also, uh, I wanted to get your take on this. Like, I'm not, I don't really like this position by uh, gold stripes. And it's because it's like, what are you trying to do here? Right. It's like, maybe yeah. you're trying to prevent this warrior from jaying in to clear the snail. But to me, this position of the snail is a trap, right? You're you're trying to get one of those blue warriors in, to come in in order to get trapped in this area so that you can descend upon them and then and get that kill. Yeah, preventing this J is almost kind of like saying is is saying you don't trust your snail rider actually to me because it's like you're you're actually going to do the same thing that the snail rider could do if they're able to to hit this bump, right? Like mm. you're challenging uh, blue abs for making this J. But also, like, if you weren't there, you have to trust your snail rider to hit that bump so that gold skulls can can get that kill, right? Yeah. Like, I, I don't see, I don't see this like vertical positioning on any snail on any map being being hyper useful because you're you're basically saying that you don't trust your your snail rider to hit bumps. Yeah, no, I I generally agree with you. Outside of memes, I do think that uh this under this platform is uh not a terribly useful position for a warrior to be in. Yeah. Right. Now in in meme play, it is hilarious to be down here and kill like four warriors at once. But yeah, yeah. Uh the reason why it's hilarious is because it should never happen. You should die. Yeah. yeah. And you're kind <laughs> uh, of daring, like yeah. It, you're you are inviting someone, right? Yeah. You are inviting the play. It's like come and get me. You have to make this J perfectly. Yeah. Um, I have a berry that I could potentially smush you with if i uh if um if you do it um and the other guy also has to hit his j right yeah or at the very least you have to hit the j cap the ledge and cap the other guy has to cap right yeah um and it's pretty useful for holding the snail in one yeah. place right um but they're in no danger of that right yeah uh they're snail's gonna they're, get out yeah snail's gonna get out like no yeah. one on the blue team really has position yet to be able to do that yeah. Um, so I think Stripes ends up getting like uh, I think uh, one or one or two kills here. But uh, another big point is that just like uh, you know you talk about meme player or whatever, but it's like one big concept that I want to say uh, that I repeat a lot is just like do the things that work against good players. Don't just do like cons play in a way where you think that they're going to hit their tech like 100 percent of the time, right? Because like you kind of want to get skills that like don't just work by like challenging a J, challenging a queen J or whatever, like. Play something that is like positionally sound to increase your chances of getting any one individual kill. Like, yeah, there are times where you have to make a play, and then maybe some of these like meme things or like these more nuanced situations are important because you know you have to make a play. But this isn't one of those situations. You're you're a closeout. Um, take a more advantageous position. So, like I said, the it's it's sort of nuanced, right? Like in this particular position, I don't like under that ledge because there's not really any options for the blue warriors other than to kill you so yeah. you will probably die but yeah. like in circumstances where it's a little more fluid like being down low isn't always the best position on the map but it's never not always a positional disadvantage yeah right um and that's where the nuance comes in and as we get better at this game like we're finding more and more places where it's like actually being low here is okay. Yeah. Right. And um, so I don't want to speak in absolutes anymore, especially with how many times I've gotten my ass kicked by Sam down in the tunnel. Yeah. So it's uh, you know, it's yeah. uh Yeah, I think that's yeah. that's a really important distinction to make. My response to that would be I think in every sport, in every game. Uh, it's the same sort of situation where there are like um, absolutes and then once players like understand those or once players understand certain like building blocks or fundamentals of a game, then that's when you can start to play around with it. Oh, yeah. No, really don't like what I generally don't like to see is people trying to replicate um, another player's play without having understanding those building blocks in the first place. So there are a lot of players who can play low. 
but it's like they made the decision to play low and they made that decision having already assessed what was going on and they probably determined that like i need to outplay this player right now and that's just what has to happen yeah and i i need to force someone into making a play so that i can outplay them exactly and what I don't want newer players to do is to think that like this is the hundred percent go to all the time because people cheered when they got kills, right? Like <laughs> that oh, that's your factor. Yeah, that's the feedback loop that I'm trying to prevent in a lot of players who are trying to learn this game, where it's just like, yeah, you know, like yeah, you have to understand the fundamentals in order to make the proper decision at any given time. Don't just like do this do one thing because a bunch of people cheered for somebody else making this. Play. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Okay. Um, the the last thing I'll say is that that point that you just made is why the meta is so important, right? Why understanding the meta is so important. Like, I have players who come up to me and say, well, the meta is stupid, and I want to break the meta. I want to do this other thing that I think is way better than the meta. Yeah, it's but like, they didn't understand it in the first place. And, and it's like, did you understand why the meta exists why right. people decide to play this way yeah it's not because you know we like and you'll see like strategies from like two years ago come back right and sometimes they'll work because we now have a greater understanding of the game and the meta to understand the steps following that position to take yeah um but in order to get to that point, you must understand why people are taking these positions, why it's so hard to break in, and why, like, you know, being down here next to next to the snail at the bottom of night map is a usually a terrible idea. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, we'll that, that, that's just like a pet peeve of mine in life, where it's like when somebody's right, but they don't understand why they're right, and they <laughs> just have like an unfound confidence for it. Yeah, no, the, definitely true. And even yeah. a lot of new players have that. When yeah. it's sort of our, it's sort of the job of the newer, older players to guide that. Yeah. So let's see what happens with gold stripes to cause this outplay. Oh, uh, okay. It's because, uh, yeah, they just popped, position. they yeah, popped yeah. out uh, at a weird time. Yeah. I think gold blue abs didn't have confidence in that. And yeah. uh, blue checks forced it. And blue abs wasn't in position yet. Yeah. One thing that I think is funny is, um, uh, I think one big mistake is uh, knowing when the the snail is like in a dangerous position or when it's like kind of an okay position so that the queen can leak out to tag a gate to get people up. So the, that's like one thing that kind of goes wrong. The queen stays yeah. in this area too long and they're not tagging gates and then they can't get anybody up. The funny thing that I think happens is uh, Blue Skulls at some point decides that they have to make a play after making the positional uh, setup for a long time, seeing that the queen is not responding accurately and then moving from that position to, to save the game. So we're going to see that in a sec. So what I see here is uh, uh, Blue Skull takes this position to play in the route to, to try to pick up kills. They stay there for a long time, uh, waiting to see how the situation plays out, waiting probably for the queen in order to go tag gate so that they can get people up. When they see that that doesn't happen, they come in to try to make a play and they're able to make the play, right? They're waiting a long time. They're like, ah, nothing's really happening. I, I need to go in and do something. And that, that's when the game shifts. But yeah, the, the queen is like going around, tagging like these speed gates for a long time, not really doing anything. That, that might have been a lucky kill, whatever. But yeah, they were tagging the gates, which forces the the uh, warrior to make plays, right? So they get a kill there. Yeah. And they're working with very, like this player on uh, Blue Skulls is working with very good like very clear principles on what they want to do, right? Yeah. One of the reasons why, like you can see these miraculous plays by the snail, by like one player, is that they are doing, they are in positions to do so, right? Yeah. Like they recognize, and I've seen the pattern yeah, a million times, right? And they've been had, they've been forced to have to do this a million times. And so like, they know like they clear that first top warrior right uh now they can now they can rotate to the next one right? yeah it's uh, killing killing the onion free your onion. head so that you yes. can do other things yeah yeah and if they don't see that opening they're bailing but wrapping immediately right yeah. they're coming back in a second before they have a chance to regroup and hopefully catching someone out of position right yeah. and this is like one of the like 
famous snails like this is one of the famous ways that you snail stall like at the very end you yeah. just like keep peeling the onion keep wrapping never let the opponent ever like figure out exactly where you're coming from yeah and because you have to make that play uh you can act with like all sorts of reckless abandon <laughs> Yeah. in ways that your opponent cannot because they want to push that snail in. Yeah. Um, so you can often be surprisingly aggressive without people realizing it. 